It's a very tough job to sit here and, and to listen to everything that's going on, but um, I guess I have a, you know, I, I'm invited here because I live in the town. I'm invited here because I'm within a certain you know, proximity of what's going on. I'm invited here because I should have a say because I pay property tax. And, and, right. and I live here, right? I mean, and that's, and that's my concern is that, you know, we've got a lot of people here who pay taxes to this you know, to Jefferson County, and these people deserve, you know, uh, a say, and, and it's something that should be, it should weigh on everyone that has to make this decision. You know, these are people who are brought in because it directly affects them. It directly affects the, the value of their property, which is an investment. Um, and at that point, to say maybe that, you know, no, uh, we're not going to listen. We're going to rezone that is also to disregard any investment that they've made in, in, the, in the city. Here. I mean, we, we buy property, we want to live here, you know, we, we thought it was a very nice place and uh, why, you know, why wouldn't we want to live here? But it, at the same time now, if, if we can see our values uh, appreciated, and, and the same thing you spoke of earlier, you know, you know, paving, changing, you know, uh, I've got some skyline, but I'm going to have a little less when that, that building comes up. Uh, you know, those, those things are affecting me and they're affecting uh, what what value my property has in the end. And, and I, I think to vote, you know, especially for such a small piece of property that we should pass this, you know, is, is kind of saying that it doesn't matter on the people here that are paying property tax. I mean, I, I take that back to, you know, uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, typically religious institutions don't pay that. That's not an investment that they make. You know, there is investments they have in the community for sure. And, uh, you know, not to belittle those, I, you know, I'm a God-fearing Christian man myself, and I, I don't go to church there. But uh, I do respect what they're doing. But at the same time, the people who have made those monetary investments, I think, are people that should have an opinion, and, and that opinion should be heard. You know, at the same at the same time, I guess my concern is with the way this meeting has been going on tonight. You know, the you know the, the remark was made. You know, you know, know your neighbors and know what's going on. Well. You know, this is kind of fearful for me, though, because when I moved in, the church owned part of the property next to me, but not all of it. And now I'm currently surrounded by the church, you know. They didn't come out to me to discuss anything that's going on, uh, future plans or what have you, and now I'm having to th rethink this whole thing because, you know, if they own all three sides of me, it's just a matter of time where they can just push right down in and, and surround me, and, and I, I can watch my property value continue to, to plummet. Uh, it's the same thing that they're that they're going through right now, and to say, you know, we don't know and what's going on uh, in the future, you don't. You you have to make uh, uh, an educated guess, and you and you take risks in life. But I have to say that this is more fearful for me with with the you know bringing up the law. You know, I understand you you feel led uh, with which way it needs to be go. I, I I hear that a lot tonight. It seems like. But it isn't a definite, you know, it, it, I believe it comes with honestly listening at what has to be done, uh, what makes sense, and respecting the people who are paying property tax and living here. I mean, uh, to say that, I'm sorry, you know, the institution moves forward doesn't really make sense except for thumb your noses almost at the people who have invested here. And so I guess my concern here is uh, not to be derogatory, I don't mean that in, in any form but we came here because it matters to us because we're not looking for some place to run off and, and let this go you know it, it means something to fight for it and you know I'm here I'm here because I want to be here and so I'm fearful though for a future that I don't know and you know maybe there's plans out there you know some of these plans date way back even though at some point we said they said we don't have a plan yet well you know that everyone has a plan it may not be all written down. It may not be 
uh, cross T's and dotted I's and ready to launch, but I'd imagine there's even plans for the property in my house or else there'd be no reason to purchase. So to hear that we have to go in a certain direction is really fearful for me because now I'm going to be surrounded on all sides shortly uh, by the church. I currently own everything right now anyway. And to be a good neighbor is to respect me and, and my investment too. And I think for the church to be a good neighbor is also supporting the community and it's not actively seeking, uh, I guess, legal uh, channels to, to attack a town because they don't gain anything from that either aside from the fact that it's not biblical for them to do that. You know, basically you're supposed to decide these things outside of court. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to run and to take these things and, and fight. You're supposed to... Uh, be meek and understanding and respectful of others, but not to necessarily not to to to, uh, to lose your principles about it. You know there is a certain amount of respect and honor uh, that is due uh, God, and I guess that's really my that's probably about, about all I have to say tonight. But Thank you. I know it's tough, and uh, please I hope you make a good decision tonight. Thank you. Thank I'm John Hambright. I'm the senior pastor of the Enon Baptist Church in, in Morris, Alabama, and been to all of the meetings except one. Uh, to the council, uh, maybe you cannot answer this question. Maybe you can. If you choose not to zone this property as we have asked you to do it, can we not still cut down the trees? Can we still not develop that property? Uh, in what aspect do you be asking? No. Well, in the fact that you know they have they have made statements that you know they like the trees and they like 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 this and that and the other. Could we not cut down the trees and put it up wide or build a house or something? It's residential. I mean, um, but that's neither here nor there. That's just a question for thought. Uh, I want to say that in the Baptist Church, uh, we are not in the building business. Uh, buildings to us are facilities to help us to reach people, to go help with this town uh, in a moral, a spiritual way. No way we want to be adversarial. I know Misty, I know Michael, for four years now, and I fear that Carrie Count. I know that when I came to this community, I fell in love with it. Uh, the church began to grow, the town began to grow. Uh, the kids became a priority in our lives. Uh, we believe that if you were to train children uh, to facilitate a building and they can walk across the street to that, but a church is more than a well-facilitated building. It's good that you have youth in mind. We have a, a, a baby. We have him in mind as well. A church, a youth building is good. It's not required. More parking that you had is gone. Now you require more. Require. But you're going to take away some of the atmosphere of his children. They don't go to Enon. They can choose what church they go to. His kids, I know his kids, they enjoy their space, their yard, the woods that's beautiful and peaceful next to them. The parking lot won't be such. The parking lot next to us, should it expand, will not be that for us. I think that we put our faith in God, not in a building not in the parking lot. They can park lots of places. You can have lots of places. Don't hurt our property value. Thank you. We're going to close the floor at this time and allow the uh, council to take this into consideration. I'm going to ask that the clerk, Miss Rob, read the zoning. And let me get something clear real quick. Is this 
four acres in this 92 foot all under one application. <clears throat> of a parking lot. Parcels 23, lots 1, 2, and 3, and 4 of Block B, and lots 5, 6, 7, and 8 of Block T. Parcel 24.2, part of Lot 1 of Block C, Lot F, south of Lot 7 and 8 of Block T, and Lot 8 of Block 3 from RT Single Family District to Institutional District for parking and future buildings, worship and education. Also, comes from the zoning board with following provisions. Uh, they recommend wooden fence vegetation such as leading cypress shrubs, landscape on the outside of the fence to be maintained by any member of the councils. Uh, I'm going to leave it on y'all to make the decisions on what height fence you want to put in this provision and what type of vegetation. I'm going to let y'all discuss it among yourself. Because I'm going to be honest with you right now where I stand. I was not aware of the situation that took place. I didn't know Ms. Bartlett had to get an attorney because she felt threatened. And I'm sorry for the church. But I, it, it's something to me when an individual in a town feels so threatened that they have to do what they have to do and pay all their hard-earned money to an attorney. And this is regardless of this law. I'll step down and the town can take the hit. But when an individual has to hire an attorney to protect their property in this manner, that nothing can be worked out between the twos, that, that, I mean, that burns me right there. That, that just hurts my feelings something all. I mean, that makes me feel hard. So y'all can take it on yourself and y'all can make the decisions, but I'll tell you right now, my vote is no. And my vote is no because of what Miss Bartlett's had to go through. So it's up to y'all. May I? I've been, I'm on the zone board, I've been on the zone board eight, eight years, and I'm not a good public speaker either, so. I've been to every meeting, Never miss a vote. I'm on the council. It's been perceived to me that Eden is some big monster up here on the hill. And they're not. And they're not. Eden is our community. They are a huge part of our they're I have friends that go to Eden. Me too. I have neighbors that go to Eden. They're a big part of our community. We're going through growing pains, no doubt. We are a small town, and that's one reason we put a zoning board together, because of all of the growing pains. The way I feel right now, I'm going to vote for Ian. Because I think they have, and I stated it. You know, you can put this on your cameras. I stated it <laughs> that, um, they went through the process, and to my knowledge, I didn't see the correct thing. And this is my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Only opinion. I just feel that we went through the right. I'm not going to deny that the process they did was right. It's just, it just seems to me like what went wrong? Conflict. What? Where did it go wrong? Conflict of interest. I'm, I'm, I'm a master's level educated. Excuse me, I'm not a teacher. I'm sorry. I know, but you're. I'm sorry. There's no no interruption from out. I feel like you haven't recognized it. I'm the sorry. The floor is closed. Yes, this sir. is amongst the council only. Yes, sir. Any more interruption? I'll have to ask the authority to ask you. Yes, later, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> but here, I mean, I've been on the zoning board. We've had these issues before. We've had a resident come here. And they, and what got then was they came and asked the advice, which I give them the best advice I could have gave. Let's work out together, okay? Rather than take my advice and try to work it out, they went and hired an attorney. Well, all that did was made the other landlord mad. 
you know, you, 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 you get more with honey than you do with vinegar, and that's my belief. I don't have a problem with Mr. Hayes or Mr. Brown coming in. You know, I, I don't know. I like all, the more information I can get, the better well, off I think we all are. I guess it's, I'm not That's a member of Anan. I've never attended Anan. My family goes to Anan. I have family members that have been Anan to the point they moved into the town of Morris and Anan was started to the day they passed away. And, and that's my point. Anan is not a big monster. I'm it's not perceiving that a monster. The, what I'm right. perceiving is that Anan is a big part of our community. But she felt to the point of threat. Oh, I never they, once. I know there's a lot of well, I, there's a lot of confusion. I have to sympathize on her part because I can put myself in her shoes when, when you well, feel like I can too. I can too. But I think everything has gone through the and this is my opinion and my vote this year. Well let me ask you this. But my opinion, now listen to me. Okay. Yeah, they went through all the processes. Everybody recruits herself from from the that had any part. Even to me tried to be to resolve this. They the first first meeting they had a very even though it's preliminary, mm -hmm. they had a set of plans that was hey, it answered a lot of questions for me right there. Mm -hmm. On down the line. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure there's some distrust and, and it would look bad to me if I was you. But the main reason that I say, my, you, know, you do have a right, and I, I know there's a lot of people snickering about it, but in America, we have a right. That's why we're all gathered here. And you know, we do have a right to do within the laws, within the zoning board, and with the council approval. We have the right to do these things. Amen. I'm, I'm understanding that. I don't have any comments. Anyone else? Does the council need to take a vote on this? I think we need to decide if we are going to vote for it. We need to decide what size fence and such. I'm going to leave that to y'all. Well, we can't decide. Roll call the got The main thing is to get this settled. I believe we can, and then we can put. The other can be worked out. With some concessions made. And I think that Misty and, and the, the people in, in, in the booths, I think y'all can meet with them you know, and try to work out something. I don't think it's my right to say, hey, y'all got to put up a fence. I think y'all can sit down and negotiate. And well, I've got everything documented where we've tried to do that. I don't know. Well, what well, what's does the a church have any, any reason not to want to? To put up a fence to follow the provisions that are set forward. That Is that the normal policy and procedure when you rezone property in Morris, Alabama? We have. We, we have recommended on that, concessions. On that issue. We recommended. Okay. So, where we stand at this time? Right? I ready? make a motion that we vote. I have a motion and a second. Roll call vote. Linda Gary. Ray Dinsmore? No. Philip Dillard? Yes. Ray Cummins? Clovis Laney? Yes. Joe Power? Yes. Motion carries. I make a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. We're now adjourned.